Hi, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining this webinar today. Well, I will walk you through the overview of Milesight Company, Milesight Lolo One sensors, and the unique proposition, I mean, the unique sharing proposition of the sensors, and finally, their reference applications or success stories. First, what I'm going to tell you about today is really just a story of Milesight. As you may know, Earthlink, Earstar, and Milesight, we are sister companies. We have integrated into one Milesight group through the merger and acquisition process on December 2020. So we will operate under one brand name, Milesight in the market. Earstar is a very famous brand in the VIP industry because of their VIP PBX and gateways. Milesight is also a very well-known brand in the security and surveillance industry for the CCTV cameras and NVR systems. Now, in Milesight Group, we have more than 500 employees. Uh, they are coming from the office and coming from the factory as well. And in which more than 60 of them are specially focused in the IoT products, I mean the Lolo One sensors, Lolo One gateways, and industrial, the cellular industrial uh, routers. And from the foundation of our company at the end of 2016, we have been focused on two product lines. Um, the cellular-based routers from the highest level UR7 serials to the most cost-effective UR3 serials in both 4G and 5G network. And besides that, Lolo One is another very important product line that we are working very hard on it. Here you can see besides the indoor and outdoor version gateways uh, with 16 maximum and 8 channels. And we also developed the indoor ambience monitoring sensor and outdoor environment monitoring sensors, as well as the sensor nodes, or we can say the remote controllers. And finally, please don't forget, we also have a software, the Milesight IoT Cloud Application Server and the Device Hub for the centralized uh, management platform. Well, next, let's see what do we have in the LP1 world. As a reliable and qualified provider of the 10 key Lolo One solution, Milesight, we can offer a comprehensive portfolio of Lolo One sensors, sensor node, gateways, management tools, and some other value added services, and starter keys, and the end to end solution. So here you can find um, we are trying to make the most of the data collected for your business simply, efficiently, and instantly collected all your devices in one platform. In the first and nose part, I cannot say that we have all types of sensor to cover all sorts of applications, but I can say that we have the most typical and most popular Lolo One sensors for the for different scenarios, you know. For example, we have the EM500 um, series for the outdoor environment monitoring, the indoor ambience monitoring, I mean the AM100 series, and the EM300 series for temperature, humidity, water leakage, and the door and window status uh, monitoring. So that's our uh, three different serials from the low one sensor portfolios. As the environment monitoring, the EM500 um, is a so big topic, so I'd like to classify it to the agriculture related for the soil moisture, uh, temperature, and electrical conductivity, and the light monitoring, the lightness, and water level monitoring by both uh, submersible or ultrasonic technology and industrial temperature monitoring sensor to cover the range from minus 200 to 800 centigrade degrees and the pipe pressure monitoring sensor 
as well as the air quality monitoring, the carbon dioxide um, detection sensor. Well, let's see at uh, look at the product design. Their main device, their main body, are uh, look the same. All enclosure box at IP66 rating level. And the power supply is built in lithium battery that can support maximum 10 years working, working life. And the operating temperature is between uh, minus 30 centigrades to 70 centigrades. And currently, there are two different models uh, for the water liquid monitoring and the door and window break monitoring sensor. Um, they all support NFC configuration, IP67 enclosure box, and maximum 10 years battery. Um, if two batteries are in parallel, if you choose two of, if you use both of two batteries at the same time, and it's a unique design that customers can choose one or two batteries in the sensor. Okay, so we have the um, specially for the temperature and the humidity monitoring or the water liquid monitoring, but it's three in one sensor. And also the door and the window, the magnetic contact switch. Okay, that's the three uh, submodels from the EM300 series. And let's see the AM100 series. That's our best seller uh, in the Lolo One Sensor portfolio. And for the basic version, you can get temperature, humidity, uh, illuminance, the lightness, and the PIR motion detection. Okay, it's the four in one sensor. And um, if you want to get the carbon dioxide, total volatile organic compounds, and the barometric pressures parameters monitoring, well, you can choose the AM107, the advanced model. And here from this picture, you can find this is the, uh, this is the, the um, PIR motion sensor. And the smaller one, this is the lightness detection sensor. Okay. And besides that, in this design, we specially make an e-ink screen. E-ink screen, that means um, you can customize, you can customize your data displaying. Uh, you can follow up our user menu to choose the uh, totally three different options that you can display different data at different site or different place of this screen as your preferred way. And because it's come with the IP30, uh, IP30 rating level, so it's only available or applied to the indoor ap applications. And the near field communication technology is also support that you can download a toolbox in your mobile phone or on your um, iPad and uh, config a quantity of the sensors through the NFC technology in your mobile, and you can uh, take use of the template to config a quantity of sensors at one go. And for the end users and customers, they may feel confused on the first beginning when they need to choose the right wireless standard, a wireless technology for upgrading their existing network or deploying for new application. So as there are so many relatively new wireless technologies in the market, such as the um, Sigfox and NB-IoT. So as a manufacturer, Mouseite, we provide all the necessary information, the before sales information to our customers based on their exact situation to meet their requirements. And um, we do explain the differences among Lola, among Sigfox and NB-IoT. When each uh, wireless standard used, then they can make sure if Lola is the best, is the most suitable, um, the most suitable LP1 standard for their solution before purchasing. And we do provide 
a wide range types of sensors in different vertical applications and different working environment, from the indoor to outdoor, from the soil moisture to air quality. So, comparing with our competitors, our hardware design is more qualified. And all the outdoor version are coming with IP67 or IP66, the rating enclosure box. And this lithium battery can be replaceable or extendable. And they all can be configured by the NFC technology, which is wireless. And most of our competitors must use the micro USB cable to make that configuration, which is not so user friendly, because they have to open the enclosure box. And besides, from the security point of view, a piece of magnetic is enough to turn on and turn off the sensor from our competitors' devices. So I don't think it's so、um, well protected or safety to use in the remote field. And besides, our sensors are、uh, EM three hundred, sorry EM、uh, EM. 500 and AM100 series, we have、um, we have been certified by Lola Alliance. No matter, of course, CEFCC as well. And here I want to emphasize the super low power consumption. You know, we have、um, we have tried tried our best and all aspects to optimize our hardware design and optimize our software to make every unit to to make. Make sure every model is support maximum ten years working life. As you know, a sensor maybe sometimes the unit price is not so expensive, but human resources that you would expend or you would cost to replace the batteries in the future that would cost you higher cost. So please take it into consideration about the power power consumption and、um, the battery life. And you know, comparing to the Lola One development in overseas market,、um, Lola Protocol was relatively later to be a standard in our domestic market, but it's a huge potential market here in China. The applications are coming from commercial use, from the big community, and always easy to expand the scale if the first POC was succeed. And according to Lola Alliance information nowadays, Lola technology has been widely used in six main aspects like the、uh, industry,、uh, buildings, agriculture, cities, logistics, and utilities. So here, you can find、um, you can find Lola appears almost everywhere. And that's your success story that we just deployed our sensors in a IoT company, IoT T company, T factory,、mm, automatic information collection system applied to this T plantation, T, this T factory, is part of intelligent intelligent agriculture information collection. The Lola One based、uh, temperature. And humidity sensor, the EM three hundred TH, and PT one hundred, the temperature sensor, were deployed inside of the T drying machine to monitor the internal components of the T processing manufacturing、um, machinery and prevent equipment failure, as well as the strict、um, temperature control for the T quality during this production process. And also, you can find. The oxygen sensor, that is the、uh, Lexi sensor, traditional sensor, not Lola One based. So we take use of the UC three hundred Lola One controller、uh, to connect with this Lexi sensor through the digital input,、uh, digital input output interface. Then we can easily and quickly convert into the、uh, Lola network. The EM three hundred dash TH temperature and humidity sensor. I think the power supply design is one of the highlights here because you can get maximum ten years, ten years work life if choosing two batteries. And battery life can be find in short time. You know, 
but it would cost much human resources for replacements. For replacement, as I mentioned before, so we worked very hard to optimize the product design, no matter from the software and hardware. So you can fully trust、um, the ten years, almost the ten years、um, work work life. And what the water leak detection in buildings? Think about commercial buildings. Think about the hotels. The air conditioning, the tea station facilities, are often provided on every room, every floor of your office block. Normally, in the same location on each floor, and often connected to a riser. The same potential risks of every valuable office space being compromised potentially by water leaks. These stations can easily be protected by the probes fitted beneath water coolers, beneath drink machines and sinks, as well as a water-sensitive cables beneath the floor and and ceilings as well.、Uh, the installer or system integrator they can choose the best method here to choose which way, which type of the sensor can be used. And our EM three hundred, the water liquid detection sensors, they are designed to continuously monitor for any amount of water, and then produce alarm if water is indeed detected. So, in a very,、uh, in a way, very similar、um, to the concept of de- detecting the presence of smoke or detecting the presence of heat in a fire detection system. And a door sensor can check、uh, if a door is open or closed, or it can check how many times the door has been open or closed, or it can even check how long the door has been open or closed. So it's in a way very similar to the workflow of the security window and the door alarm bell. And this sensor, the magnetic contact switch, can help you monitor the status of any door and window all the time. It detects the current status of the door and the window, or where the through the distance of the magnetic inside of the sensors. It reports the instant open and close changes. Otherwise,、uh, updates hourly. You know, maximum you can set up. From one minute to maximum one thousand and eighteen minutes is almost eighteen hours、um, to report data, or every few minutes, whatever you decide. And you will never have to worry about the status of your doors and windows. You don't need to worry about when the when the occupants are absent. And customers can choose either normally open or normally closed type. In a smart working environment and a smart meeting room, you know exactly how to set up an effective atmosphere without even getting up. And we use this information of the beginning of the working hours and the motion detector readings of a sensor. With this information through the lightness controlling panel, it's triggered to turn on the lights automatically when an employee comes into the office. And use the temperature, humidity, illuminance, and air quality sensor information. Depending on the situations, we control the fan and the light to provide a comfortable working environment and improve your well-being and productivity as well. So nobody has to breath the stale office air. And if you are worried about, if you are worried about. The cold weather impacting pipes, causing the damage to the pipe stores, freezing,、um, or worried about doors and windows safety of your office, you can deploy the water leak detection sensor and the magnetic contact con- contact switch sensor throughout the sensitive parts of your building while you are working from home or you are working remotely. Here. The photos here、uh, is the POC the pilot、uh, testing project that we deployed、uh, in in multi-site companies in a meeting room. So you can find AM one hundred seven and our 
uh, UC eleven fourteen, and magnetic contact switch, and temperature and humidity sensor, as well as this、um, touch panel, the Lola one based、um, the light controller here. That you can touch it to turn on and turn off the light. So everything we pre-configured in our Milesite IoT cloud. So according to your pre-configurations,、uh, the system can automatically to turn on and turn off the HVAC system or the lights, and provide you a comfortable environment. And now many Chinese young couple,、uh, young parents, you know, or friends would like to spend their family weekend time in galleries, in museums, and now in the,、uh, sh- the insurance companies are putting a lot of restrictions on the atmosphere and environment、um, monitoring that they can actually put those kind of charring articles into, because you know sometimes there are. There's million or billion dollars worth of art in some of these traveling shows. So about two hundred ninety nine U.S. dollars, you can use one of these little sensor to monitor temperature, humidity, and carbon dioxide, which they need to be able to guarantee the insurers that is a controlled environment. And besides the PIR motion detection. It can also collect personal activity in a certain area, which is also helpful for analyzing the popularity of this art of this show. And in this application, several Lolowa sensors were deployed in different machines,、uh, refrigerators, and the working areas in the laboratory,、uh, like the UC eleven T one that. Is our first version of the temperature and humidity monitoring sensor, which has been replaced or upgraded by the EM three hundred dash TH model. So, and also you can find、uh, the AM one hundred four, the ambient monitoring sensor, and AM one hundred seven on many corners of this lab. Then they can send the data collected to the UG eight five, the Lola one. A、uh, indoor version gateway that deployed in the office next door. The built-in battery design make the sensors easy to deploy,、um, to be deployed on any place you want. And in this case, UG85 Lola One Gateway acts as a forwarder to transmit data smoothly into the Milesite IoT cloud platform. So where you can easily check all the data from multiple sources in the centralized management platform, and finally, our customer would like to. Our customer would like to realize the automatic turn on and turn off of the、um, disinfection equipment when there's nobody, when there's no person in the laboratory, according to the PIR motion detection in this AM100 sensors. So let's see this AM100 series.、Mm, it comes with the e-ink screen, as we mentioned. So you can easily check the date, the、mm, the the date, the time, the temperature, the humidity information on the screen, the basic informations. So this product is an ideal solution for public facilities monitoring, like in the office environment, in classrooms, in restaurants, in hotels. Uh, in hospitals and museums, okay, and our、uh, storage room as well, and we have integrated a lot of useful functionality into this smart designed sensor, such as the sleep mode, sleep sleep mode of the screen for long battery life. If there is no personal activity detection in twenty minutes continuously. Uh, by the PIR motion sensor, so and it means、uh, if there's no personal activity, well, the ink screen data will go to sleep mode, so as to save the battery life. <laughs> and you are able to integrate this sensor、um, with your HVAC system and light controlling system in many different indoor applications with the same device. Besides, 
It's so easy to use for customers. They can finish the configuration for the devices by the near field communication technology, the NFC technology. And I think that's very helpful for the user experience. And here I would actually state that battery life is one of the key fundamental of making this work because users, customers don't want to be bothered by the maintenance, which is unavoidable, but it can be lowered by the sleep mode and the device that can be charging by the USB cable. And here, uh, you may find the spreading factors according to the LoLa Alliance that we can classify from the SF7 to uh, SF8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. What's the difference? Well, the higher level of the spreading factor, the longer distance it may cover, but it would cost um, double consumption, double power consumption. So here, if you are if we are using the uh, spreading factor 7, we can support 14 months of the battery life. And for the spreading factor 12, the highest level, only 8 months it can support. And in this scenario, it's a little one based Smart farming, a system is built for the monitoring crop yield with the help of sensors like the humidity, like the temperature, um, the lightness, the soil moisture, and um, the automating the irrigation systems. This case um, has been selected as the success case in the LOLA Alliance, the LOLA destination activities. And this project becomes part of the Australian government smart irrigation for profit phase two. The LOLA enabled sensors in the field communicates to the remote monitoring center through the mile site gateway. And once the gateway receives data from the irrigation nodes, it's passed to the Chopstack network server through the cellular network 4G LTE network and then forwarded by MQTT to the AWS IoT platform, where the monitoring sen center is hosted for farmer access by both the web and the mobile apps. So if you want to get more details, you can check from uh, Lola Alliance or you can check from our website. And um, this is the EM500 uh, SMT, the Sawyer um, Moisture Temperature Sensor that support both the thin rail mounting and the pole mounting for easy deployment. There are three sub-models here. You can either to choose soil moisture only or moisture plus temperature only. And three-in-one moisture, temperature, and electrical conductivity. Of course, they are coming with different price. And I think that's the basic. That's the basic sensor for the smart agricultural applications and the smart greenhouse um, applications as well. And this sensor can actually monitor the changes in the surrounding light intensity. That's the EM500 light detection sensor. Usually, it working with other agriculture sensors like the soil sensor in greenhouse, in um, in forestry, and other agriculture related scenarios. And I think you guys can read in English much better than I do. So I will leave these parameters, this specification to yourself. Then you can find from our data sheet or from our website. And this is a small reservoir that close to our office. And I want to monitor its water level. Um, the reservoir is about 2,000 meters away from our office. 2,000 meters is too far from from my Wi-Fi coverage. I don't want to, uh, and I don't want to lay any cable sensors over there. So I decided to use the ultrasonic 
Lolo One based sensor and deployed our UG85 Lolo One based gateway on top of our office building. And 2,000 meters is still in the Lolo One supportable range in this area. And whenever the water level above than 8 meters or lower than 2 meters, it will trigger the alarm threshold and send alarm by email or by mobile push um, to my mobile phone automatically through the trigger engine in our cloud application. So if you are the subscriber user of our uh, Mouseite IoT Cloud, well, you can also realize this automatic monitoring and alert. And here is another very common scenario where you can make sure of both types of sensor. Um, that is how to get through a bridge safely. Usually, it should give the vessels enough space to pass under the bridge. As the boat operator, he can integrate the water level sensors with his boating system, um, boating safety system, and to know the water level changes at high tide or at low tide, and make the right de decision during the navigating. The only concern is whether the boat's routing is still within the coverage of the Lolo One signal. That's the only concern, only question that the operator needs to check. So we have the submersible type and also we have the non-contact ultrasonic type. And if you'd like to monitor the non-corrosive object like the water, H2O water in rivers, storage tanks, you can choose the submersible type with a cable. But in some other scenarios, it's not convenient or not so safe to immerse the probe with a cable into some dangerous and complicated materials, such, such as in a chemical tank, in a garbage disposal plant, or the sewage works. Then the ultrasonic sensor can help you better to monitor both benign and chemical objects. And due to the cable design, in the submersible sensor, we can extend the cable length to maximum 200 meters. And if you'd like to measure some other types of liquid, such as the alcohol or the oil or Coca-Cola, well, we can customize, customize this sensor, this cable, I mean the probe, uh, on your, according, depends on your exact requirements in this submersible water level sensor, okay, we can customize, we can change this probe. And the submersible water level sensor uses the gauge pressure in measuring, okay, that's the technology we are taking use, the gauge pressure as the standard. And PD100 is another type of temperature monitoring sensor. It can work very well work very stable in an extremely challenging environment like the minus 200 to 800 centigrades. And our PD100 model comes with four different models for supporting different ranges. Here you can find from this slide. And PD100 are also relatively against to electronic um, or electrical noises. So it means it's well suited for the temperature measurement in the industrial environments, especially around models, around generators, and other high voltage equipment. And in the high vibration applications, the industrial and mobile machines vibrate shaking when they work. It's very normal, right? Then the straight tube type probe, here you can find in this picture, that is the straight tube type probe. It cannot be fastened on the objects. So the customers need some other types of probe, like the pressure ring type, like the magnetic type, and the SMT type, um, to fasten the sensor on different machines to make sure the data is accurate. And besides the probe types, we also use the three wire connection to forward data. So even if you want to get hundreds meter length of the cable, well, it won't impact the, the length, the distance of the cable length. It won't impact on the data accuracy.
and one of our customers used this PT100 sensor to monitor the temperature of concrete. Very interesting. So it came is very well designed for the industrial applications. And pipe pressure, uh, the pipe pressure sensor. This sensor is designed for the pressure monitoring of the tank level or the liquid in tubes. So here you can find a different interface, um, different interface type uh, to fasten or screw it, screw this sensor into the pipelines. And carbon dioxide sensor is mainly used to monitor the carbon dioxide concentration change in the uh, atmosphere, such as the ability of accurately reporting in the for in the forest fire forest fire monitoring. So the temperature, humidity, and the barrel pressure and the barometric pressure uh, will be measured at the same time. So it's the four in one sensor. Not only the carbon dioxide, but pre barrel pressure, barometric pressure, and the temperature and the humidity at the same time. And this sensor is battery operated with no cables to worry about. So it can be quickly installed in any desired areas with minimum disruption. And all units are factory calibrated um, to measure the carbon dioxide concentration levels up to 5,000 parts per million. So we don't need additional calibration because it's the pure, um, it's not the electrical or chemical type. Okay, so we are taking use of the uh, NDIR, the non-dispersive infrared technology, take use of this technology for the gas concentration detection. So they are very well known to be the reliable and high accurate technology in the market. So this sensor um, is ideal for the applications where the carbon dioxide levels need to be measured to assess outdoor air quality, such as the agriculture, the land use change, the energy, or the waste industries. Moreover, it's widely used to detect the concentration of carbon dioxide in the air that comes from the carbon dioxide-related industries and processing, uh, including mining, including manufacturing, and construction, uh, those kind of industries. And this is very important um, when our customers, they were telling that they, they do not need to spend a lot of money. They cannot spend a lot of money and they just need a basic kit to get them going something that is plug and play that we can, um, we can put up by ourselves and we can get going with this whole smart uh, agriculture things. So we put this kit together, we put those kind of devices together. It includes a gateway, um, three Lolo one based sensors. And moreover, well, it's most important, a year, 12 month free service of the Milesite IoT cloud that you can take use of the licensed version at a free cost for 12 months. So, what we are all about, uh, well, we want to be the most cost-effective, most user-friendly Lolo One provider in the market. I know that's probably a rough it ambition, but you know, dream big. And we want to have the most stable, the most effective Lolo One sensors and gateways, the most user-friendly software for shorter, um, shorter time or very quickly setting posture, the biggest the biggest distribution network to make the products easily accessible by locally and users. The most clients and best case studies, that's actually um, certainly the case studies, I think, uh, carry the most weight in terms of growing your business in the Lola One, um, in the Lola One world. 
Okay, let's see what we have shared today. First, you can get total load one based solution from sensor terminals to the gateways, the hardware, as well as the free network server software. I mean the MileSite IoT Cloud management platform to build up your own private, your own very safe uh, load one solution at very um, affordable price or cost effective price. And the sensors come back to the sensors. They are so easy to use. When you are in field, you can configure you can configure them by the near field communication technology, NFC technology, on your mobile phone or on your PC. There's no need to open the enclosure box of the sensor. And if, if you are far away from the sensors, you can send commands back from the network server uh, if you are using our Lolo One gateway uh, to make the, that configuration through the gateway. Okay, if you want to get more details about how to send commands, you can follow up the instruction in our user manual. And you can also find e-ink screen and smart screen design in the uh, AM100 series sensor to, ex to extend the battery life to save the power consumption. And finally, what I want to say is IoT is certainly expanding very quickly. Mm, that's going to float all the boats. So if we are, if we can expand at the same rate, we will be succeed. We will be okay. And the same to you. Okay. Thanks, guys, for staying with me until the last slide. And if you have any question, you can mm, email me or you can visit our website and leave your message. My email is jessica at milesite.com. Thank you very much and hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.